Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article straight from T Mobile's newsroom. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So, this is a major expansion that took place, ac actual coverage expansion that took place in Utah, delivering supercharged speeds across the state. So, we'll, we'll get into this here briefly before I give my commentary. Since 2021, T-Mobile has been on a mission to enhance its network in Utah, adding more than 192 new cell towers and upgrading more than 621 existing ones to expand 5G coverage to more people in rural areas. But the Uncarrier isn't stopping there with plans for even more new installations and upgrades to existing towers throughout this year and 2024 to further boost capacity and data speeds. So it looks like they expanded coverage by a whopping 85 thousand square miles so here here's my thing right if t-mobile plans on you know further increasing price to legacy customers charging what they charge now on under the new plans and then the go 5g next being the most expensive plan they've ever offered they internally know that they have to provide the services and network to you know to justify paying those prices and they also know that with all these new use cases and all these businesses that they're flipping, you know, they're getting those entire accounts. They also know that they have to have the the network be reliable and 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 be bigger than than it used to be in order to keep those accounts and create that that CLV that they're looking for. You know, they want the long-term customer and that this is what they're going to have to do. What you're seeing in this article, they're going to have to bring that to state to state to state. They're going to have to add more sites. They're going to have to expand coverage. And that's just what it is. There's no two ways about it. There's you can't you can't dodge this this grind. You really have to put in the work. You have to put in the investment to really get the network to scale and for it to be reliable and for these, you know, consumers and these businesses to stay long term that's the goal so they got a ways to go right even after the 192 sites and the 85,000 miles a square miles that they added in utah since 21 they still have to build there's still a large area of utah that is not covered and that's roaming only so there's still more to be built there the north carolina article we got t-mobile still has to build more in that state texas they got to build more new mexico Nebraska, they have to build from 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 scratch, right? They they weren't native in that state at all. So there's so much more work to do that they already have 2024 listed on in this article. And that's what I'm being told. 2024 is going to be an, a, an even bigger expansion year because a lot of sites that were built at the end of 22 and and during 23 ha, you know have yet to be uh have yet to go on air. That'll go on air in 2024. So there, there's even going to be more coverage expansion coming in 2024. I'm told the largest bulk of coverage expansion is coming within the next 12 to 18 months. So that's going to be that's going to be good to see. That's going to close the gap with the competition, and that's really going to allow T-Mobile to compete at scale. Recently, at the earnings call, they mentioned they compete now in 70 percent of the small market rural areas. They want to get to 100 percent, so they got the next 30 percent to go. And that's going to require new coverage and new retail distribution. So lots of work for the company. They're still, a, by, by large, a pure wireless play only. So they really have to get into these underpenetrated segments such as rural business. And they really have to shine there. And the only way to do that correctly is to provide a network that's, you know, that's just top notch, right? Good reliability. Uh, great calling, great speeds, performance, everything across the board. And it looks like T-Mobile is working towards becoming that grade A carrier. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.